know that the whole healthcare sector has been obliterated of late. Even companies that have little or nothing to do with the political witch hunt over drug pricing. Take Ventas, VTR, the healthcare real estate investment trust that owns more than 1,200 properties across the U.S., the U.K., Canada, including senior housing, medical office buildings, some hospitals, even some skilled nursing facilities. Though the company spun off most of its skilled nursing real estate in care capital properties back in August. Ventus is an owner of real estate, not a health care provider. Yet the stock's been slammed along with everything health care related, including the impact of the care uh, capital spinoff. Ventus is now down 7.4% since mid-August. Stock got hit hard last week, seeking 5.6% single session. After Ventus reported a pretty solid quarter, beating Wall Street's top and bottom line estimates and raising its full-year guidance. However, when a sector's out of favor, anything short of a perfect quarter can cause the stock to get hammered. And this quarter was not perfect, as Ventus same store's uh, net operating income seems to be decelerating a bit, but we'll find out more about that. Still, the stock is down massively from its highs, and at these levels, it supports a 5.7% yield. At some point, this stock will become too attractive to ignore, and maybe we're there now. Don't take it from me. Let's check in with Deb Cafaro, the bankable chairman and CEO of Ventos, to hear more about the quarter and where her company is headed. Ms. Cafaro, welcome back to Med Money. Good to see you. Great to see you, Obviously, Jim. Thank Thanks you, for Deb. having me. Okay, Deb, I uh, delivered the number. Yes. Have, getting that great spin off to people. Yes. Uh, consistent growth regardless of the economic cycle, and yet some people are seeing what they think is a deceleration. Uh, is that versus their estimates or what you're worried about? Well, we did have a great quarter, and we're projecting 7 to 8% per share growth this year, which is above our early in the year expectations, so we feel pretty good about that. And we've delivered, as you know, over 10 plus years, both dividends and cash flow growth for shareholders. Do you think that there's a possibility that because a couple of hospital companies said some negative things that people felt that your recent Arden acquisition made you too much like a hospital company? Well, interesting. We're a $30 billion company, and we recently made a $1.3 billion investment in high-quality hospitals. We're very excited about this because hospitals are a trillion-dollar revenue business. Very few high-quality hospitals are engaged with REIT Capital, and we really believe we can build a formidable business here. Uh, that having been said, the fact that a couple of the large public hospital companies uh, pre-announced earnings yeah. less than expectations w was on investors' minds, even though Arden itself had a great third quarter, and we're very optimistic about the growth prospects there. So you didn't have the, the problem with some uh, customers not paying or... Uh, you know, some of the things that we heard from community. Yeah. I mean, I think those were very specific. Arden yeah. itself, the company that we aligned with, had mid-single-digit top and bottom line growth in the third quarter. And uh, we feel very good about Arden's ability to perform and also to grow. Okay, now, the, there were some people who were concerned there talking about how you actually highlighted, because you're a very transparent person and yeah. a very transparent company. You said, look, Chicago, Atlanta, Jacksonville have a, have a bit of a glut. And I think people just immediately just presume that there is a glut mm -hmm. of, of high-end facilities. Mm -hmm. That's not true, is it? Well, senior housing is a great business. As you know, one of the ways we've been able to deliver for shareholders is because of the, it's fueled by the aging demographic. Right. And that is a very powerful tailwind in our business. We do try to be transparent and forward-looking with investors. There has been some increasing development, construction, and senior living, but we have a tremendous portfolio, great assets, great markets, great operators, and long-term, we feel it's a great place to be. Well, so you don't think that there's overbuilding there that would make it so that you are going to suffer some yeah. for uh, your earnings? I mean, no one is ever immune, okay. I would say, but we are in a very protected and great position, and we're trying to give investors our best uh, windshield view, I would right. say, of what we see in the sector. But it, we really, it's a great secular long-term business. And you use the figure 70% not facing supply problems at all, right? That's exactly. a huge part of your in business. New, right. In New York, for example, this quarter, we grew net operating income 7% in our senior living. And that's our biggest part of our senior living portfolio. Now, some people have been saying that there's not enough deals out there. But when I actually did my own work on this, because <laughs> candidly, no friends in this business, there are, uh, at any any given moment, yes. there are literally hundreds of facilities yes. for sale. Yes. I mean, our pipeline is incredible. We probably have looked at $40 billion in deals this year, and our biggest issue is to remain disciplined, be a good capital allocator, try to buy early cycle mm -hmm. investments in all of our different segments. So we can we can find deals, no question about that. Surprised that it got to 5.7 yield? Uh, yeah, it's right. a great, I mean, we have a great dividend yield on a triple B plus balance sheet with a Need-based, 
strong business. It, I like it. Yep, I, I totally agree. I think it's just a great opportunity. That's Deb Cafaro, Chairman and CEO of Ventos. We've followed the company for years. It's made so many of you so much money. If you want income, this is the place to go. Stick with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.